Using a trim tool, go ahead and pop up your retainer button here and repeat for the other side. Once we have our grill buttons popped out, we'll go ahead and release this button here and the other one on the passenger side. Using a seven millimeter socket, I'm gonna start by removing these two screws right here. Once these are out, repeat for the other side. On the inside of the fender liner right here, there's gonna be two plastic buttons that we wanna go ahead and remove. We're gonna use a pick in our trim tool here to go ahead and pop these out. Once you get those two out, repeat for the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these plastic buttons here. There's a series of these across the front lip of the bumper. Just got to remove all of these. There are three pockets under this front splash guard here that have this plastic push pins. You want to go ahead and use a pair of pliers to go ahead and remove those. We have two 10 millimeter bolts. Let's go ahead and remove these. There's one just the other side here. Let's go ahead and remove our three 10 millimeter bolts. down. Using your trim tool, you want to go around the inside of your fender liner here. You want to pop off these buttons right on the back edge of the bumper. Using a seven millimeter socket, we're gonna go ahead and remove this little bolt on the inside. Once we get this out, we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process for the driver's side. Behind the bumper, there are a couple bolts here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna try and loosen these here using our 10 millimeter socket and extension. Now we have that removed. Let's go ahead and repeat for the passenger side. If you wiggle the bumper a little bit, this bracket will slide off, but be careful as the bumper is gonna be released. I'm gonna go ahead and repeat this for the driver's side. Again, pull out that support bracket right here, set that aside. Now our bumper will be completely free. Then go ahead and grab your bumper, separate it from the vehicle. Now installing the bumper, you want to be careful bringing this back and making sure that the two sides don't scratch your fenders. Bring this back, making sure that the bumper fits between the headlamp and the impact pad. And repeat the same for the passenger side. Install our upper 
push retainers. And repeat for the other side. Now you want to go ahead and install the bumper pressing this little tab up into the bottom of the fender. I'm going to have to push the bumper forward a little bit, line that up, and then pull the bumper back. When you do so, you want to work the bumper and around your headlamp. Once all of that is lined up, we'll go ahead and install our screw and our nut on the back side. And once we get these in, we'll go ahead and snug those down. And go ahead and install our mounting tab. I'm going to push us up so we can get this button on the top to line up with our fender. Once that's locked in place, we can go ahead and install The nut on the back side. Now we'll go ahead and get our screw started. We'll go ahead and line up our back portion of our liner. We'll go ahead and get the screw started. Just snug that. Let's install our screw here. Get that started a couple threads. And we just bottom that down and snug it into place. Let's take our splash shield here. We're going to feed this up underneath the edge of the bumper. Install our center plastic retainer. Once we have that center pin lined up, push it up in and then push our center lock button up and in. Let's go ahead and install our two screws on the back side here. And we'll go ahead and get these snugged down. If, once you feel all these screws snugged down, you just want to go a little bit more. Just enough to hold that in place. Now you want to go ahead and repeat this for the other side. Let's go ahead and install our three screws. Install your plastic push pins into the bottom here, lock it in, and repeat across the front lip of the bumper. And 
repeat just for the driver's side. Inside the fender well, you wanna go ahead and install your liner buttons here. Pop these in. Once you have these two in, go ahead and repeat for the driver's side.